Okay, I think this is the moment to present the first the first uh, speaker from my hospital, Dr. Anna Brosetta, and she is going to present the lecture about the minimally invasive thoracic surgery, bats and rat, and the expanding use of the use of the interfacial brain blocks. Uh, Anna Brosetta and Elena Vioska, you can start, please. Hi. My name is Ana Broseta, and together with my colleague Elena Bioska, I am going to talk about the use of interfacial plane blocks in minimally invasive thoracic surgery for both video assisted and robot assisted surgery. Many thanks to the ACTAIC for organizing this webinar and inviting me to join it. I have no conflicts of interest to disclose. Poor pain control leads to worse outcomes. Uh, through different mechanisms. And this is so for open surgery as for minimally invasive thoracic surgery, which for, uh, from now on we will refer to as MITS. Adequate analgesia is thus a priority. Studies both in the United uh, States and in Great Britain and Ireland show that MITS accounts for the majority of lung resection surgeries. MITS has less perioperative mobility and mortality and is oncologically equivalent. So this proportion will continue to increase probably as will the absolute number of lung resections. What is MITS? MITS basically refers to the approach via small skin incisions that enables the use of surgical instruments. Video assisted thoracic surgery can be uniportal with two or up to three ports, which include a utility, a utility port of up to eight centimeters. These ports are all inserted in between the fourth and eighth intercostal spaces. Robot assisted thoracic surgery requires three to four ports plus an additional assistant, assistant ports, which are all inserted in line along the seventh intercostal space. No retractors are used in either video-assisted or robot-assisted surgery. But MITS includes a wide range of surgeries with different uh, aggressiveness. And in spite of the small skin incisions for the ports, a large incision of up to eight centimeters is still required for removing the surgical specimen. Trying to keep this incision small can increase distraction to the ribs and nerves and so nerve injury and rib fractures can occur. On top, there will be a chest tube left in place for several days. This translates into clinically relevant pain. In this trial, almost 40% of patients undergoing video-assisted thoracic surgery had a value of three in numeric rate, uh, rating scale despite a well-working epidural catheter. So taken all together, we have to acknowledge the importance of pain in MITS before we consider the choice of our analgesia strategy in MITS. Analgesia practice in MITS was surveyed in Canada, where 40% of respondents chose um, a thoracic epidural, 15% chose a pervertible block, and the same percentage chose intercostal nerve blocks. Almost 30% of respondents did not perform form any regional block and use a patient control analgesia pump with opioids. This heterogeneity just reflects the lack of a gold standard in analgesia in MITS. If we talk about regional blocks, paravertebral block provides comparable analgesia to thoracic epidural with a better side effects profile, but it is still technically difficult and has the same contraindications as an epidural. And the surgery is becoming less invasive Fascial plane blocks present as a simple and safer alternative to paravertebral block in MITS. From all the range of fascial blocks, the most interesting one in MITS could be sorted in two groups. One group would be the serratus plane block targeting at the lateral branch of the intercostal nerve, and the other group would be all the blocks in the paraspinal area, of which erectospiny plane block is the most widely accepted and the one that accumulates more evidence. The site of injection of all of these paraspinal blocks is the fascial plane above the intercostal muscles and the ribs that extends posteriorly over the transverse process and the lamina, just varying the muscles overlaying. 
the site of injection of the rectus spiny, uh, spiny uh, block would be between the rectus spiny muscle and the transverse process of the vertebra.